Hello. Let's study the betweenness factor and communities for big data analytics. What is betweenness centrality? We need to know before seeing what is betweenness factor. The vertex betweenness centrality BCV of a vertex V is defined as betweenness centrality for the vertex V is equal to summation of U comma V which lies for the vertex V in the bracket rho U W for the vertex V divided by rho U W. Now what are these? Let's see. Rho U W V that is the total number of shortest path between the nodes U and W that pass through the vertex V divided by the total number of shortest path between the node U and W where the vertex V may come in between or may not come in between. To see the complete between a centrality video, kindly refer to the between a centrality video on the YouTube channel Anuradha Bhatia. Now, let's see what is a between us factor. Now, this is a question which is asked in the Mumbai University May 2018 paper to find the between us factor and the communities for the given graph. The graph is given. So let's see how we find the betweenness factor for the each node and the communities. Let's start with to find the betweenness factor. We have to see that how the node comes in between when we travel from one node to another. Now, if we see the node A, the node E and node I, these are the corners of my graph. So, the betweenness factors for these three nodes will be zero. And now to calculate with the betweenness factor for B. To find the betweenness factor for the node B, it has to be the shortest path that I get when my node B is in between. Now, if I have to travel from A to C, I can travel directly. B does not come into picture. So the shortest path to reach C is A to C. B does not come into picture, but yes, there is a path existing when I need to go A, B and C. So to need reach from A to C, the path is 0 divided by 1 because 1 is the path that exists between when B comes in between to reach from A to C. And why? My numerator is 0 because A to C, the shortest path is directly. So there's one path which is X. There's no path which is existing when B is coming in between. So it is 0. There is one path existing where I can reach from A to C without B. So 0 divided by 1, which is 0. Now, when I have to reach from A to D, A, B, C, is the one path which is existing and that's the shortest path and B comes in between. So from reaching from A to D, one upon one. So the path is one. So I can say from A to D, it is one divided by one. It is equal to one. Now when I have to reach from A to E, the path existing is A to B, B to D and D to E. That's the shortest path available if I have to reach and that is only one path available. And in that one path, B is coming into picture. So from A to E, when I have to go with B as a betweenness node, so it is one upon one. When I have to reach F, now the path existing, if I have to reach from A to F, it is A, B, D, and F. This is the only path existing, which is the shortest path. There's other path also existing. If you see, it will be A, C, G, H, and I can reach F, but this is not the shortest path. So there's one path, the shortest path, which is available to reach from A to F is 1. And B coming in between is also 1. So it is 1 divided by 1. Now, when I have to reach from A to G, I can reach directly 
If B comes into picture, the path increases, that is A, B, C and G. So it is again 0 divided upon 1. Same thing happens when I have to go from A to C, C to G and G to I. So this is also 0 divided by 1. And when I have to reach C to D, and suppose I have to reach from C to D. If I have to reach from C to D, the one path which is existing is C to B, B to D. So it is again 1 divided by 1. And when I have to reach C to E, again B comes into picture. So C to B, D to E. So again, the centrality is 1 upon 1. And C to F, the same thing happens. So from C to B, B to D and D to F. So, there is what happens C to B, B to D and D to F. This is one path existing. And there is another path which exists is C to G, G to H and H to F. You will see these both paths are the same. So, what happens is there is one because B comes into picture once. So, C, B, D, F is one path. But divided by 2 because there are two paths existing in which B does not come into picture but there is a path through which I can reach F that is C, B, D and F. This is one path and C, G, H and F. So it will be 1 upon 2 that is 0.5. Similarly, from C to G I can reach directly so it will be 0. C to H I can reach directly it is 0. C to I also it is 0. Similarly, when I have to reach from D to E, D to F, D to H and D to I, I can reach with a value of 0. So all these paths value are 0. Now the factor comes is what happens when I have to reach from D to G. When I have to reach from D to G, it is B, D, B, C, G and D, F, H, G. So these are the two shortest paths which is available and B comes into picture. So it is again 1 upon 2 which is equal to 0.5. So and E to F again if you take E to F, E to H, E to I, E to G. So all of this can be reached. So all this will be 0 because B does not come into picture. And similarly from G to H and G to I and H to I. So if we need to find out the betweenness for the node B, so we have to count all the values which are with value 1. So if you see the betweenness factor for the node B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus 0.5, plus 0.5, so which is equal to 6. So betweenness factor for the node B is 6. Similarly, we will calculate now the betweenness factor for the node C. As we calculate the betweenness factor for the node C, A to B, A to D, A to E and A to F, all these things will be 0. That is A to B, A to D, A to E and A to F will be all 0. Now if I have to travel from A to G, A to H, and A to I, that is, if I have to travel from A to G, if I need to travel from A to I, and if I have to travel from A to H, so all this will be 1. So I have now 3. So as I have to travel now from B to D, B to E, and B to F, C does not come into picture. So again, this thing will be 0. Now if I have to travel from B to G, if I need to travel from B to G, obviously I'll follow this path. So the value will be 1. If I have to travel from B to H, I'll travel the similar way. So the value will be 1. B to H, I can travel 1. And B to H is 1, 2, 3, 4. I can travel this way also. So it will be 1 upon 2, 4, H. B to I, there is only one path existing that is B to C, C to G and G to I. So the value will be 1. So D to E, D to F, if I have to travel D to E, D to F, 
d to h and d to i the values will be all zero now d to g when i need to travel again it is at the center so what i get is half so for d to reach to g the value is half now e to f again if i need to travel e to f e to h e to i the value will be zero g to h g to h and g to i and h to i the values will be zero so the betweenness centrality for c will be again six how it will be six if you can see three arrows one two three four five and half and half is six so betweenness centrality for the node c is also six now similarly let's calculate the betweenness centrality for the node d and g we will see that both of them lie at the same level so betweenness centrality for d and g will be same so let's start as d and g are at the same level if you have to travel from a to b a to c b to c all this will be zero if i'm traveling from a to g d does not come into picture so it becomes zero a to i it becomes zero but yes if i need to travel to e for this node d the betweenness centrality is 1 if i need to travel to f the betweenness centrality will be 1 and b to c b to g b to h is somewhere where i need to calculate the betweenness centrality because i can read b to h from b c g and h and i can also reach is b d f n h so between a centrality here becomes 0.5 because one where d comes into picture but there are two parts existing so this is 0.5 if i need to reach from c to e yes the path is c b d e so between a centrality here again is 1 when i need to travel from c to f again there are two paths existing that is c b d and f and c g h and f so between the centrality here becomes point 5 now when i travel from c to g c to h c to g c to h and c to i the between the centrality is zero and again e to f e to h e to i the between the centrality is zero and gh gi and zero one is also gh and gi is also zero so what happens is the total between the centrality over here is 7 for the value of d now how is it 7 because i if i need to reach from a to e it is 1 b to e it is 1 c to e is 1 so it is 3 as i need to reach c b e it is 1 c b d f is 1 so it's 5 and this is 6 7 5.5 5 .5 and 0.5 is 7 so between the centrality total becomes 7 for d and 7 for g Now let's calculate the betweenness factor for the node F. For node F and node H, the betweenness factor calculated comes out to be 6.5 and 6.5. This is the betweenness factor calculated for each node. A is zero, E is zero, H is 6.5, F is 6.5, I is zero. D and G at the same level is seven. and b and c at the same level is 6 after calculating the betweenness factor the question asked is find out the communities that are formed for these betweenness factors now what is a cling in a community you can refer to the video of cling in community on my channel now here is just a brief now if the value of k is equal to 3 then there are three clings which are formed in this particular graph a cling is when 
all the three nodes are connected with each other. So this is a cling one, this is a cling two, and this is a cling three. For a community to be formed, there has to be a common node which exists between the two community, the two clings. But here, as we can see, there are no common nodes existing between the two clings. So, for this particular graph, there are no communities fine. If we connect any two nodes, that is maybe CNH and CNI, then these two clings, that is cling 1 and cling 2, can form a community. Otherwise, without taking an assumption, this particular graph does not have any community for k is equal to 3. Thank you.